Hello, welcome back to another exciting Art with Mr. John. Yesterday, well for this week, I made a little jack-o'-lantern with a little black kitty sticking out of the top of it for Halloween. And I was thinking, let's also do a sugar skull, a calavera for Dia de los Muertos. And you can see up here on the top some of the ones my students made last year. We watched a video on how to do it last year, but I was thinking, Maybe I should show you. So I started playing around and I was just goofing around trying to figure out a way to do this. And the fun thing is you can do it lots of different ways. That looks like uh, that guy from SpongeBob. It looks like Squidward. <laughs> and then I started coloring it in, playing with it. We can do it all kinds of different ways. So I'm going to give you a basic idea, show you some of my ideas, and then you go crazy. You do whatever you want to do. Have fun with it. And it's so easy. If you mess up, like I did, I'm like, yeah, hmm, I don't like that. You turn your paper over, you can try it on the other side, do it on a different paper. You can make a whole bunch of different ones. But as long as you kind of get some of the basic ideas down, it's real easy. It's real fun. So grab a Sharpie, grab a piece of paper, grab a work mat, grab some crayons, Get ready, and I'll see you in just a sec. All right, welcome back. Uh-oh, I forgot to take down the picture from yesterday. This is a little Halloween kitty pumpkin I was talking about. Let's put that aside and get a fresh new piece of paper. Let's get some tape, tape that up. Sorry, I wasn't ready for you. All right, here we go. And let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do when you do this is you want to make just a rainbow for the top of the head. So just leave some space on the sides so for a little decoration, but remember it needs to kind of fill in this kind of area right here. So just start right here. make a rainbow. You can kind of, whoops, come in just a little bit if you want. If it's not exactly perfect, try to make both sides the same. If not, don't worry about it. Then, so that's kind of like the cheekbones. Now we're going to get the chin. So kind of come down, bring it around, kind of nice square chin. And that's basically it for your skull. All right. Now, let's start with the eyes. Now, I want to leave some space on top and sides for decoration. So, make a circle about the size of a dime or a quarter. Right here. And make another big one around it. Circle. Big one around it. Now, what I like to do for the eyes is make it look like flowers. And here's an easy way to do it. Start at the top and make a rainbow line down. And then on the other side, do it the other way. So we're going to do that on the bottom. Do it on the side. And I got all these empty spaces, so I'm going to put one here. Here, here, and here. Now we've got a cool flower eye. Do the same thing over here on this side. Boop, boop. And same thing, we always want to try to do our best, but we're not going to cry if we mess up. Believe me, I mess up all the time. Now, because we want to have fun, we're going to make a smile. So, make a smile. About like that. Now we're going to make our teeth. Now the teeth are just going to be rainbows that touch this smile line. They're going to be smaller on the outside, 
bigger on the inside. I'll keep your teeth, your front teeth are bigger than your back teeth, right? So that's what we're gonna do. So here we go, rainbow, touch, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. <laughs> Mine are kind of crooked. That's it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. And just like how your your you got bigger in the middle and smaller on the outside, do the same thing. Now, for kind of looks like lips, it's not really, but for our decoration, we're going to kind of mirror the same shape around the outside. So kind of start here and where your bumps are, it doesn't have to be perfect and then bring it around. All right, looking cool. Okay, now for the nose, we're gonna make an upside down heart. So make a V and then like a W. And it's kind of cool if you put another one inside of it. So make another V and another little W. All right, we're looking cool. Now we need some decorations and we're gonna put like flowers around the skull. So start up here at the top, just make like a smile. And then we're going to make our petals just like we did on the eyes. And just kind of make them fit in however you want to. Some can be long, some can be shorter. All right. And let's do the same thing right here on the cheekbones, right there on the cheekbones. Nice and long. Because what we kind of want to do is we just want to put some decorations in to fill in all this white space. Put one over here. Let me come over. I like to do the middle one first so I can sort of get an idea how long I want to make my petals. You can make them kind of curvy, you can make them sharp ended. Just sort of fill in the space. Now I'm gonna do the same thing down here at the chin. So it looks like my beard. <laughs> Rainbow. Petals. And where you have more space, you can make your petals, this one looks like a cactus, longer. Oops, I can put another one in there too. There you go. Now, we can also make like some vines with leaves on them. So like here I got a big empty space. I can make it look like a little mustache. I can make a vein, a vine coming down and curling around. Coming down. Curling around. I could even put little leaves on here if I wanted to. Leave some space because well, if you make these, then you want to color them in later. Okay, looking good. And if I wanted to, I could put some more little flowers around. You don't have to, but you can fill in the space. This one's looking a little sloppy. <laughs> Be a little bit careful here, Mr. Johnson. All right. And then you can put like, so if you want like, here you have some empty space, you could put more, more vines or you could put dots. So let me see if, let me show like another vine I could put down here. Curve it down and curl it around. So this one is gonna be hard to match up, but I can still do it. Ooh. All right, and I could even, like, like I said, I wanna put more leaves on this one. These ones look like more like thorns, actually. 
All right, so we want to fill it in. Now, pretty much at this point, you're done. I'm going to show you some coloring ideas that I like, but as always, you are the boss of the coloring, so you do it however you want. For the eyes, flowers, they use a lot of marigolds at the Dia de los Muertos celebration, so I like to use, that's an orange flower, so I have to use an orange crayon. So I'm just gonna go in. Oh, this is one kind of cool trick that I do want you to see. You can color in your petals. I'm gonna show you two different ways. Um, do the inside, I don't know, I'll just try an orange, Let's, I mean a red. That was cool. Okay, now you could leave it white like this one. But let me show you, I'm gonna do the other side here. Something else that looks kind of cool and you can choose how you want to do it. Now you could alternate colors for your petals, make them rainbow, you can do whatever you want. Why? I don't know, Mr. Johnson, why? Because you're the boss. You're the artist. Remember I told you that before? <laughs> okay, so here's one trick that is kind of neat. You can go back and you can take your Sharpie and you can shade in the rest of the eye so they look more sunken and spooky. If this is a little too scary for you, you can skip this part. show you how it looks so you can make that choice yourself. Ooh, this Sharpie's running out of ink. Good thing I have extras. So this way you can see the difference of how it looks. If you leave the eye white, or you color it in black. I kind of like the black. Or you could just do it with a crayon, if you didn't want to use that. Let's say I pick a blue here, because I have blue eyes. Color, I could color that in with a crayon. Looks kind of neat also, let's see. Just have fun with it. Make more than one. I've seen one where they put hair on them or hats. Those look silly. That kind of looks neat too when you color it in. All right, teeth. I think for this one, the teeth look cool if you do them yellow because they really stand out. They look like gold teeth. So. I'm just going to color all my teeth yellow. And you just color right over that Sharpie line. And just try to keep it in here. Like I said before, you can do this whatever color you want. I'm just showing you my ideas. Your idea might be way better than mine. I don't know. I'm just playing and having fun. So I do that. And then if you want, you could even do like the lip area a different color. So you could color this whole thing in. Okay, I'll choose green. You could leave this white. Might look better white, I don't know. I'm just fooling around, having fun. Let's see. You can also look at mine and say, hey, you know what? I like that idea or I don't like that idea. So I'll try it a different way. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. Green and yellow, that's the color of the Oakland A's. So I kind of like that. So you want an Oakland A's calavera. Now, the skulls are usually, when they make these out of sugar, they make them, they're candies, little candies that you can buy. 
And since skulls are usually, the bones are white, most of the candy, most of the skull is left white. I mean, so you could color the whole thing in if you wanted, or you can leave a lot of it white. Now for these little flowers, like I said, I like the marigolds, so I like to keep them orange leaves. This is a dark orange, kind of pops a little bit more. So like I had the light orange for those ones, I'll do this one dark. Once again, you could do these petals any color you want. But just to kind of go quickly and show you my ideas, I'm going to do them all the same. And the fun thing is, as you're doing this, you're thinking about it, looking at the other parts, go, hmm, what should I do for that other part? I'm thinking this needs some purple in it. So maybe I'm going to make the base of my flowers purple. I haven't really used much purple yet. All right, so I'll color that in purple. Yeah, that's neat. Purple and orange. Whoops, that crayon broke. Luckily, I have one that's not broken. If you break your crayon, just peel the paper back and start over again. That's probably what I'll do with that crayon that I just broke. I'll peel the paper back and use it later. Give it to you guys who come to Chavez when you come back to school. You kids at Loop and Hills, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll still have fun. All right, so we'll color that in. And, ooh, where'd my fancy orange go? You know what, maybe just for fun, I'll make this one the light orange. Oh, I gotta do my nose. Maybe since I have this, this purple in my hand, maybe I'll make my little heart in here purple. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Since I kinda like that black up there with my eyes, I'm gonna, ooh, I left the top off. I'm gonna color in this inside part of the nose. And then I can really make it look like a heart too. I can fix that up. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Oh, I have to do my little thorns on here. Make those green, because they're like little leaves or thorns. So like I said, just have fun. You can put more vines on here if you want. Then when you're, when you say, okay, you know what? I think I'm done. I've done enough. I like it. Or another idea you could do though, I've seen this one before too, around the eyes, you could put circles. That looks kind of cool too. They do this with the candy. I forgot about that. You could just put little circles all around the eyes. And that also fills in a lot of the white space. It makes it a little more interesting. I think I'm not even gonna color those. I'm just gonna leave them little black circles. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now, I'm just gonna pick one color. I'm gonna grab this red because it's in my hand. And then you can leave your background white. I usually like to shade in my backgrounds. So I'm just gonna do this all red whoops you could do it in whatever color you want of course or you can leave it white or you could draw more flowers around the outside that looks really neat we did that last year some of the kids that i did this with more vines and roses and stuff but basically we are almost finished looks pretty cool huh all right well i hope you had fun I did. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, 
throw it away, make another one. You're the boss. Have fun. See you next time.